Hi everyone and warm welcome to my channel where I review items that I find beautiful and useful. And today's video will be about a handbag from the brand that I have never ordered anything from there before. And therefore I'm very curious to see my first order from there and share with you today in, in this video my first impressions, the complete unboxing of the handbag that I've chosen. Let's see what fits inside, how is it style it, of course if the quality is good. And a little bit about why I chose this particular bag for myself. And by the way, lovely people, as you know, my channel is very new and I am just a little bit over 100 subscribers away from possibility to start monetizing from this channel. So I would really appreciate if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, of course, if you enjoy the content that I share. So as you can see, the box is really beautiful. Uh, the handbag is packed inside. I've ordered it with express delivery. Uh, they say that shipping within Europe, express shipping would be um, between two and three workdays. It actually took six or seven workdays for me to get it, but I hope that it was worth waiting. <laughs> so let's start the unboxing together and have a look what is inside. This beautiful ribbon. I will remove. And then let's open the box. Oh, it's a beautiful handwritten message here. The one that I chose, which says freedom is everything and love is all the rest. It's lovely. And then here you can see the bag is packed. Here I can see a dust bag. So, this box and wrapping paper, I think we can put aside. And then let's see, it's a really nice dust bag in uh, cotton. And I love the combination of navy blue and red. It also says Espinola Blonde on here. And now the most important thing, the handbag. Dun, dun, dun. Here it is. Oh my. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> my first impression is, oh, it's really small a handbag. But wow, it is just so pretty. I can see already now. It's exactly as I was imagining it just that it's a little bit smaller <laughs> and uh, well this handbag is called Mayfair and there are many many different versions of it in different colors and levers but this one is from the seasonal collection I think it's called like poolside collection and you see it's woven lever straps all over I can't wait to show you some close-ups uh, but first let me see how to open it okay so it's a sliding mechanism and here's how it looks inside. Some more wrapping paper. There's also a lever strap, of course, because I will want to wear it as a crossbody. And we have three compartments inside. They aren't big, but uh, it looks like they are well thought through. I will also show you what fits inside of them. Nice uh, lining as well, not in leather, but uh, in, uh, yeah, material lining. And here's how to close it, just slide like that. Now let's measure the bag. It is, it isn't big, so just so you know. So it is approximately 20 centimeters, then it's approximately 18 in height. Let me see. Oh, actually, it's 17 in height. And here up, it's 80 centimeters. And here on the side, it's eight and a half. So it's quite a small one, but now let me inspect it closer. I think it is really structured and it's really well made. The lever feels good quality, really. And one thing to mention is that it's from a gold rated. Uh, tannery 
so it is an incredibly good leather and craftsmanship as well very even no defects or or you know quality issues and the strap here feels also wow really good quality and it's really soft <laughs> if i compare for instance some brands that i also love like uh, that aren't super pricey like Polen, uh, their leather straps and the handbags they most often are very hard but this strap i see is really really soft and the glazing oh i i see that the glazing is also really nice it's almost invisible actually so there is almost no difference between the strap and the glazing that is really nice and the hardware i can see it's not like some lightweight uh, poor quality it's it has some weight in it and it also has a little a here so let me show you some close-ups now and uh, we try together to attach the strap and afterwards we can check what fits inside and how to style this bag okay so here is a close-up you see how beautiful is this lever it's very soft but at the same time really structured and have a look at that it is so beautifully made this chevron print here you can also see four supporting feet let's remove those cover stickers because definitely I'm keeping this beauty oh. so can you see I mean it is gorgeous and here you can also see how impeccable is the lever it's smooth nicely tanned and here is the back side the strap on now mm -hmm. as you can see the strap is possible to adjust it's a really generous length and voila now it's with the strap attached interesting that it looks as if you could open and close it with a key Although I haven't seen any key uh, added in the package, uh, maybe I've missed it. Let me know if you have a key to it, but it's easy to open and close. Here is the inside. As you can see, it's two bigger compartments and one smaller. The smaller you can open with a zipper, open and close. Oh, oh and here's a message about woven lever that this product is created using hand-woven leather fabrication, which may have an even characteristics and slight color variations. Yeah, please avoid sharp objects, um, which may cause the leather threads to catch or, or pull. Of course, we'll do that. <laughs> and there's some information also about guarantee uh, for workmanship for up to one year and about curing of Aspinall products. Lovely. Okay now, so what fits inside? Let's have a look. So here are my keys, cards, uh, and car keys. A phone. Um, I think cosmetics pouch like this wouldn't fit. Let's see. Well, no, it's too, too big. But a smaller one like this. Yeah, it fits. Let's say a hand cream, lipstick or a lip balm. Yeah, and I think it would fit some documents or bigger phone as well, but um, only a small notebook if you would have. Uh, so yeah, size wise, yeah, good for a small bag, but this woven version isn't available in bigger size. Okay, and overall, I am really in love with this handbag. Just a couple of words about why I have chosen this particular one. So I have no woven handbag in my collection, and I've been looking for a one that I really would like and which would be practical. I have seen like Bottega Jody bags or other Bottega handbags, but they, yeah, they didn't really catch my eye. None of them gave me any joy and didn't mo really motivate me buying them. I really think through every handbag that I own, what would be the use case. And the only uh, 
missing handbag in my collection was some with a little bit navy nautical vibes like a little bit seaside mood uh, something that would fit my outfits with stripes or you know those white and navy gloves so something a little bit more special and in general i really like woven techniques i think it's a really nice craft and looking at this handbag i mean it's not only woven but it's also in this chevron print uh, which is well truly impressive and i think that this will actually be one of my most used and loved handbags because it's quite small but it looks really practical and by the way it's also really stable on the feet so as you can see it stands well on, on its feet this is the back side again the front and the side yeah so this is like a missing piece now i think for quite some time i won't be purchasing any other handbag because it feels like my collection is complete but of course maybe i should film my complete collection and share with you if that would be interesting please let me know in comments and also of course if you own any handbags from aspen of london and uh, want to share your impressions how is wear and tear for instance would be really interesting to know so thanks everyone for watching this video if you would like uh, to support my creative experiments on youtube and keep in touch then welcome to subscribe to my channel it's really new i just started it a couple of months ago and uh, it would mean a lot to me if you follow along and subscribe but in any way have a great day and good luck choosing your next handbag i hope this video was useful and i'll see you in my next one bye for now